everyone, this is Payal Raja. In this video, we will discuss about advantages and disadvantages of syrup. First one, what is syrup? Syrup is a sweet, viscous, concentrated or nearly saturated aqueous solution of sucrose which contains 66.7% weight by weight of sugar. So what is syrup? Syrup are concentrated aqueous preparation of sugar or sugar substitute with or without flavoring agent and medicinal substances. Next one is use of syrup. Next one is vehicle. Water is act as a vehicle in syrup preparation. Next one is sweetening agent. Syrup is act as a sweetening agent, that is act as a preservative and Syrup is also act as a flavoring agent. Next one is component of syrup. Most syrup contain the following component in addition to the purified water and any medicinal agent present. So first component of syrup is purified water and any medicinal agent. Second one is sweetening agent. The sugar usually the sucrose or sugar substitute which is used to provide sweetness and viscosity. So, purpose of sweetening agent is to provide the sweetness and viscosity. It is also act as a flavoring agent and function of sweetening agent is masking the bitter taste of any medicinal product. Next one is antimicrobial preservative. The amount of preservative required to protect a syrup against microbial growth varies with the proportion of water available for microbial growth and capability of preservative itself. Example of preservative like benzoic acid, sodium benzoate, etc. Syrup can be preserved by first one, its storage at low temperature, adding a preservative in the formulation to avoid the microbial contamination. So which type of preservative we added like methyl paraben, propyl paraben, etc. Next one is viscosity modifier. So viscosity or function of viscosity modifier to enhance the viscosity. Next one is flavorant. Most syrup are flavored with naturally occurring material or synthetic flavorant. So, example of naturally occurring material is volatile oil and example is orange oil. Second one is synthetic flavorant is vanillin. It is act as a synthetic flavorant. Purpose of flavorant to render the syrup pleasant taste. Next one is colorant. What is colorant? To enhance the appeal of syrup, a coloring agent that correlate with the flavorant employed is used. Characteristic of colorants like the colorant is generally a water soluble in nature, non reactive with the other syrup component and color stable at the pH range and under the intensity of light. Next one is many types of many types of syrup, especially those prepared commercially which contain the special solvents, solubilizing agent, thickeners and stabilizers. Advantages of syrup. First one, it is act as an antioxidant by retarding the oxidation as a sugar is hydrolyzed into levulose and extrose. Next one is, it is act as a preservative by retarding the growth of bacteria, fungi or any mold as osmotic pressure is 16 times greater than the isotonic solution. Next one is good patient compliance especially pediatric patient as a syrup are sweet in a test. Economic and safe to the patient. Next one is easier, easiest route of administration than other oral liquid dosage form. The liquid dosage form is expected for certain types of product 
So particularly syrup is used as cough medicine. Next one is disadvantages of syrup. Fluctuation in storage temperature which may cause a crystallization of sucrose from saturated syrup. That means any fluctuation in storage temperature which may cause crystallization of sugar from saturated syrup. So maintain a storage temperature. Maintain a low storage temperature particularly in case of syrup. Not suitable for unconscious patient. For not suitable for unconscious patient and in emergency situation. Can't avoid first pass metabolism. And last one is delayed onset of action because absorption takes some time. Thank you.